Hi, this guy is the Yixing E52. This is a replacement for the E50. This is a Wi-Fi FPV folding pocket drone. This will be the review and the mods that I did for this guy. This was the original one that they came out with. They came out with one that they called the E50 and now they have a replacement. This only came out a few months ago. And they, they have a replacement which is the E52. It looks a little bit better. It's a little bit sharper with the colors and schemes that it has. Um, the original was the E50 and it also had an equivalent JJRC, the H37. This one varies in the sense that it has a real remote control. When you fly the E50, you had to fly it with your phone. With the E52, you can fly it with your phone or you can fly it with the remote control. And it has altitude hold, so it has the left stick with center. And it also has uh, a camera holder for this that you can easily slide in and slide out. One thing uh, about this drone that it has, it has a, a built-in barometer. It has altitude hold. So you get it up to an altitude and it will just stay at that altitude. Um, the transmitter has a bunch of buttons on it that you can use. Uh, this is the auto takeoff, auto land. So it has the takeoff and landing. Uh, these two are for headless mode and for one key return which I never use. These two are for your pictures and video to start and stop your picture and video. These are true trims for your uh, this stick, the true trims. The two shoulder buttons, this one is for your rates and it has three rates. Uh, this one is for flips and it can flip in all four directions. You press this button and then you move the stick in the direction that you want to flip it. it takes a uh, four triple A double A batteries and it has a real nice uh, holder for your phone it can support probably up to like a six inch phone simple but it works very well it works very well the quad itself has a proprietary battery that can easily be modded. Had this battery that it came with, and it's actually a 600 milliamp. The specs say 500 milliamp, but it comes with a 600 milliamp. And it came with this uh, holder for it. You just take it apart and use it as a uh, as a bottom clip for your mount for your quad, and it works just fine. Uh, also, this is the battery that came with the E50, and it's uh, a 500 milliamp. And what you'll need to do is uh, make a, a little connector so that you can uh, connect it from the low C that it comes with to a JST connector. And this supports JST inputs. The Wi Fi on this is very good, um, it has about a 200 millisecond delay and that's very good it, it, it captures the analog signal has to convert it to a digital packet and then it transmits that packet to your phone and then your phone has to, uh, has to take that packet and put it on your display and that only takes 200 milliseconds it's very very good where a, a true FPV setup it's all analog so it's basically real time there's very little delay this 200 millisecond delay is one of the best that I've seen the disadvantage to this is that it still has a pinhole camera. One advantage is that you can tilt it up now, so when you're flying forward, it, you can tilt it up, so it actually points straight. But it, it, the field of view is still only about maybe 70, 80 degrees, where uh, a typical wide-angle field of view, you're looking at a minimum of, of 120. So the field of view is, is one disadvantage. The other disadvantage is that this camera is uh, 640 by 480. It's a, it's a VGA camera. It's not a uh, uh, HD camera. So you, 
with it being 640 but by 480 it can do the packet sampling and transmission faster if it was a bigger camera as far as resolution it would uh, take more time and the delay would be better the delay would be higher one thing that you can do is that you can fly it with the phone and uh, it has a application called uh, well, Wi-Fi F, uh, FPV and allows you to use the gyros in your phone so you can tilt it back and, and the quad will fly back to you. You tilt it forward and the quad will move forward, tilt it left and the quad will move left and tilt it right. And it's a cool way to fly. It's fun. It's actually uh, for the first time flyers, you can hand this phone to a first time flyer and they can just tilt the phone and the quad will react to that. Get it up to the height that, that you want and then hand them the phone and let them do the tilt and the quad will respond to that tilting. The motor types that it has, it has brush motors. This is a, uh, a copy of a, a, a high quality drone Dobby that has brushless motors. This is the low end toy grade of that. Uh, this device with the remote only sells for about $37. The, the uh, E50 without the remote sold for about $40 when it first came out. It's a little bit cheaper now, like $39. But this is a, actually a better deal. You get a, 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 a more modern quad that has more features and you also have this nice remote now, which the E50 needed a remote. You couldn't really fly it that well with the phone because there's really no feedback to let you know what direction your thumbs are uh, with the sticks. So with these uh, type of sticks versus these sticks, you have feedback here that, that you know that you're moving. With the glass here, you really don't have any feedback. I mentioned that it has a 600 milliamp battery, not a 500 like the spec says. The flying time for this is about, they, the specs say about 8 to 15 minutes. I'm getting about 10 minutes. Uh, the RC distance with the phone, you're doing Wi-Fi, so you're, you're only going to get about 30 to 40 meters. With the transmitter, you're going to go out a little bit further because it's 2.4 uh, gigahertz through the transmitter receiver setup. So you get about 70 to 80 meters. And at that distance, this looks like a dot in the sky. You're really not going to be able to tell unless you're doing FPV. And this is a good little FPV for indoor. Uh, it's nice that uh, you don't have to go out and, and buy a, a, a 5 point gigahertz goggle or 5 point gigahertz all-in-one camera. You can start out with something simple like this, $36, $37, get a remote, use your phone, and do FPV, FPV that way for the first time FPV enthusiast. There are, uh, the, the uh, E50 came in a, a black version and a white version. The black was the JJRC, the white was the E50. Um, the uh, E52 has two packages. It has a uh, ready to fly, which has this remote, and it has a, a bind and fly version, which you doesn't include the remote, just you have to fly it with your phone. Let's do some flying and see how this guy performs. This is the flight review of the Yixing E52. I already have it connected uh, to Wi-Fi UFO on my phone, and I, I will bind it to my transmitter. Power on. It's already set up to initialize the motors, both sticks, down and to the outside. Now it's initialized to change the rate. That's the second rate. That's the high rate. I'm going to go back to the low rate. Reinitialize the motors. Do an auto takeoff. Uh, the altitude hold on this thing works very well. Let me adjust my hat cam. I give you a good angle. Bring it down a little bit. This is at 30%. This is the pitch at 30%. It doesn't have a, a much of a pitch. But the altitude hole works well. This is the 
Y'all, very slow, y'all. Wow, boy, is that slow. Very slow y'all rate in 30%. Let me bump it up to 60%. And uh, we'll see what the pitch is. Better pitch, more, more of a steeper angle. The y'all, let me get it centered here. The y'all is still slow, but a little bit faster, but still very slow. Let me go up to uh, 100%. We'll see. Pitch is a little bit steeper, so it's a little bit faster pitch. Let's see what the y'all is. The y'all is a little bit faster, still very slow. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fly it now with just the controller. Let me turn uh, the altitude hold on. Let me turn the phone gyros on. Let me turn headless mode on. And let me turn the, the on-screen controls are on. These are the sticks for the on-screen control. You can see if I tilt it back, the stick goes to the bottom. If I tilt it forward, that stick goes forward. If I tilt it left, that stick goes left. And if I tilt it right, that stick goes right. Let me tell it to auto take off. And uh, I tilt it back, tilt it right. Tilt it left. Tilt it forward, tilt it back, tilt it right. Come on, baby. So these are with the tilt control. This is nice for uh, showing your friends, showing it off. But I wouldn't recommend flying it with the phone at all. Let me tell it to auto land. And I'm going to end this with some FPV footage so you can see the narrow field of view for the camera. And if you need more information about this Wi-Fi UFO, take a look at my E50 review. I go into detail about what these controls are for. Let's go and look at the final review and the mods that I did to this guy. This is the Yixing E52, the mods and final score for this. The mods that I did, the first mod that I did is I took uh, and added these white props, mainly for orientation. You really, when it's up high, you you can't tell the, the back from the front unless you're fast forward flying. And if you add uh, these white props that came from the E50 to this, you can have a little bit of orientation. Uh, the next mod that I did is I took this proprietary battery apart and I pulled the battery itself out and it's basically just connected with LOSI type connector here. And the only thing that you really need to do is that I put a little red dot here with fingernail polish so that I can tell which side I need to plug the plus into. I, uh, if, if I fly it this way and use this as just a cover for the battery, which is the bottom portion, here's the top portion that comes with the batteries inside of it, I can fly it with any type of uh, JST connector if I make this, this connector uh, converter here, which is a, a JST uh, to, or low C to JST type connector. And what I have here is I have the battery that came from the E50. So if I plug that in uh, and I plug this into the quad itself, the terminal, I can fly it with this type of battery instead of the 600. I can fly it with this 500. Or if you make this connector, you can fly it with any type of low C, connect, low -C battery that fits into this area. Uh, something that I did to my E50 
is I put a uh, wide angle lens on it and you could do that with the E52 you uh, the uh, the wide angle lens is basically just a piece of uh, metal that's uh, magnetized that you put on that you can take a wide angle lens and pop it on here let's see if I have a wide angle lens and I'll show you what I did to my E50 is I put a little circular metal here and I can take this wide angle lens that I have here and pop it on and have a wide angle lens for it. You could do the same thing for the E52 here. My final rating, this is a cool concept with uh, the uh, folder folding legs and the pocket drone and it's one of the best Wi-Fi FPV quads for speed as far as getting the, the packet to the phone speed it's only 200 milliseconds roughly for the day the delay you need to fly it with this transmitter I wouldn't recommend flying it with the phone there's just no feedback for the controls it's, it's neat to do the tilt control but that's basically just a novelty to really fly this correctly you need to fly it with the with the uh, controller flying it with the gyros it's lots of fun especially for showing people first time flyers people that are interested in getting into that uh, I recommend this quad for beginners because of the it, it having altitude hold and for first time use for FPV users my final score is an 8.5 I'm taking 1.5 away because of the proprietary battery you have to do that modification that I showed you and because of the camera itself it camera is only 0.3 megapixels which is a VGA quality camera which is 640 by 480 and it has a narrow field of view as you can see by uh, the FPV footage that I showed you previously I recommend this quad for beginners and first-time FPV enthusiasts you do not have to get a 5.8 goggle, 5.8 gigahertz type goggle, and a 5.8 gigahertz all-in-one camera. You can fly it with just this and controller and your phone as being your FPV device. Down the road, if you want to, you can get uh, like Google Cardboard and put your phone in here and have a cheap set of goggles. That would probably be the next step to, to buy a you know, $5, $10 type Google Cardboard. Uh, put your phone in here. Don't put the optics in and just have a cheap set of goggles uh, I, but That's why I recommend this for FPV enthusiasts. This is a, a cheap way to get into FPV You don't have to invest hundreds of dollars into goggles and all-in-one uh, 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 5.8 gigahertz cameras Leave your questions in the comment section below and thanks for watching Please click on the like button, comment and subscribe.